Hello, this is Tom Stickelman, and in this video I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to create two-dimensional views from a 3D solid part using the function Solid Layout in Mastercam X7. Let's take a look and see how that's done. Alright, so for this example we're going to be using a block that is 2 inches wide, 3 inches long, and 1 inch thick. Now the first thing we want to do is make sure that our construction plane is set to top because this feature will only work in the top construction plane. So once you got that set go under the solids menu and then pick layout. Alright so there is layout and what you can do is you can either create a portrait or a landscape and the size sheet that this will fit on will be a 11 by 8.5 which will be the A but you can see there's many different sizes depending on the size of your part. Then the scale factor will be 1 to 1 and we're going to create 4 view on C which means we're going to get a top view, a front view, a right view and a isometric view. So we click on OK and then it wants us to create a new layer so we're going to create layer number 3 and we're going to call it layout. Alright, so then we click OK and right away you can see the four views will appear. Now, first of all we can turn off the hidden lines in either all the views. So we can say toggle all now my graphics are a little bit slow here but you can see it takes away all the hidden lines. Or you can say show all and then say hide the lines in only one view so then you click on the view and it will only remove the hidden lines from that view. So that's pretty neat. So let's bring it back to show all and then here again you have the option to change the sheet so let's say let's see what happens when we change it to a B size sheet you can see it relocates itself and it increases the size of the paper and of course you can bring it back to the A size alright then we can change the scale uh, let's say that we want to do a 1.5 and we can either say all and it will change all the views to one and a half or we can say one and then you'll have to click on the view that you want to increase the size of and there it is now if you want to revert or reset just click on reset it brings you back to this menu you just hit OK and then everything comes back to where you originally had it alright then it will let you remove views so you can hit remove and then it says here select one of the views or sections so let's say I don't want the ISO view so I click on it are you sure you want to remove the selected entities I say yes so it gets rid of that alright and then you can add a view so you click on add a view and say bottom and say ok scale a one to one alright and it says indicate location for placement so we click right here and then it just dumps it right there and then you can pan it so click on pan it says indicate point to move from so we let it snap to that corner say OK and let's say we want to drag it to right there so there you have it alright so let's say that we want to remove that and say OK and now we want to add a detail and that's a pretty neat feature so you click on add detail and you say circle and you say OK it says indicate center point of detail circle in a view so let's say I want to do that right there I drag I create a circle alright say scale 1 to 1 you can say it 2 to 1 click OK and then add that section for you right there and it'll kind of explode that corner if you wanted to see something just in a little bit more detail so that's a pretty handy handy tool. Alright and then so then you are ready to turn off the layer that has the solid on there so you make the layout active turn the solid off 
zoom in, say OK, and you are ready to add dimensions just by clicking over here, horizontal, and just add your dimensions to it. So, pretty neat way to add multiple views and create detailed drawings without much effort. Alright, so I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.